Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of the Bulldog Bark. Today we're going to be talking about the best dog on news not on TV, the weekly debate, musician of the week, headlines, news, and interviews with Kat, in the celebrity roundup. Now on to sports news. Welcome to the best dog on sports show, not on TV, with Ashley, Bradley, and our special guest Cheyenne. Okay, so the NFL playoffs just kicked off this past week with a bang. The Texans defeating the Raiders 27-14. to The Texans will now play the Patriots on January 14th. The Seahawks stomped the Lions 26-6 and now have to play the Falcons on January 14th as well. The Steelers rolled over the Dolphins in their 30-12 win, which progresses them on to play the Chiefs on the 15th of January. Lastly, the Packers had it easy with the 38-13 win against the Giants. The Packers will now face the Cowboys on January 15th. In other football news, we've got Clemson Tigers beating Alabama Roll Tide 35-31 in the national championship game of college football. Clemson won with a touchdown with one second left on the game clock. Alabama was ahead at halftime 14-7. Now on to Ashley. For our college basketball, we had the UNC Tar Heels beat NC State 107-56. to The UConn is aimed to make history on Tuesday as they play USF. They have the most consecutive wins right now at 89, and the top record is held with 90 wins set by UConn in the 2009-2010 season. Dixon Sports, we have basketball versus Southwest at home next week on Friday. Wrestling senior night is tonight, so come out and support your Bulldogs at home. All right, this week, guys, we ask you on Twitter and in the lunchroom, which one you like better, cats versus dogs? The Twitter results was 84% for dogs and 16% for cats. Now let's hear from our students. Do you like cats or dogs? I like dogs. <laughs> I prefer dogs over cats. Well, we don't mess around with no felines around here. <laughs> As in just looking trash right now, but she said cats. <laughs> I like dogs. Dogs. Always dogs. Cats. I've always lived with them. Dogs. Cats. Cats, definitely. I got like eight of them. Dogs. Dogs. How does it feel to be the first musician of the week? It's an honor. Everyone's before show being the first, definitely. What was your favorite part of being on Drumline this year? The ability to teach people things they didn't know before, teach people how to play instruments they never learned. Great. What kind of advice would you give to someone coming up that wants to be on Drumline? Practice every day, watch videos of people doing lessons, things like that. It's, um, it's probably the best way that's going to learn a lot of stuff that I don't know. Hey guys, I'm Kat Velez and welcome to Headline News and Interviews. Tuesday night, Barack Obama gave his farewell speech to America in Chicago where he started his political career. Here are the highlights of the speech. Obama asked us to have faith in democracy and stress the importance of participating as a citizen of the United States. He spoke about the importance of equality in all types of people and working together despite our differences. He also mentioned the idea of post-racial America being unrealistic, saying race remains a potent and often divisive force in our society. He mentioned the fact that ignoring climate change betrays everyone. He touched on the achievements of his administration. Lack of terrorist attacks on U.S. soil, the increase in the number of Americans with health insurance, the legalization of same-sex marriage, and the eradication of Osama bin Laden. He thanked his wife, even tearing up in the process, and said he was most proud of his role in being a father to his daughters. He briefly spoke about the importance of peaceful transition of power, and paid tribute to his vice president, Joe Biden.
Hey guys, this week we're starting a new segment called Celebrity Roundup. Now let's hit the red carpet and see what the celebs were wearing. Hollywood's biggest stars gathered for the 74th annual Golden Globe Awards in California. Here are a few stunning looks from the red carpet. Emma Stone in Valentino. Amy Adams in Tom Ford. Kerry Washington in Dolce & Gabbana. And Lily Collins in Harry Winston. Blake Lively, star from The Shallows, and Ryan Reynolds from Deadpool also serve up Hollywood glamour at the Golden Globe Awards. Hey guys, it's me again. Now that we're ready to face 2017, let's get some announcements out of the way. First up, yearbooks are now $60, so get them while you can. Speaking of yearbooks, the senior ads for 2017 are underway, so remind your parents to turn in your photos and your forms money as soon as possible. The due date is February 3rd. On a final note, Dixon High School has its first official GSA, or Gay Straight Alliance Club. The GSA offers a safe and accepting space for all members of the LGBT plus community and its allies. The community has already started raising money for the Trevor Project, a foundation providing crisis counseling for at-risk teens. So, anybody's welcome to the club, and meetings are held on Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.30 in Ms. Sherman's classroom, room 120. Oh, and make sure to study up for your final exams. We'll see you next semester. Thanks for watching.